Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over some information that I think will be really helpful to you. I knew that anecdotally that uh, properties seem to be going under contract uh, very often the first five days after being listed, basically the first weekend. And I also knew that the winning bids quite often seem to be above list price. But I wanted to confirm and quantify that understanding. So I pulled a report together. I wanted to know uh, how many sold the first weekend and I wanted to know how many were above list price. So let us take a, where am I going? Let's take a look. Okay, so wow, 88% of the homes went under contract during the first five days after being listed. That is crazy. I looked at residential stick built homes greater than 900 square feet and with 20 acres of, of land or less. Really here just trying to uh, weed out some of the outliers that could skew the data. I didn't really want to get like a 60 acres of land with a thousand square foot home because those could be on the market uh, a good bit less. So let us see. So we've got 88% uh, went under contract the first weekend. It's really a high percentage in all the pr price brackets. A little bit less here, but you know you're you're talking about uh, really high price homes, so it, that's understandable. Here's a breakout by county. Forsyth and Guilford are the has the most transactions and the highest amount, so it's maybe just more competitive. Uh, You've got some lower percentages in some of the more rural counties here and there. But then again, these also had just a few transactions. So it's more easy, uh, smaller populations, a little bit more easy for the data to be skewed. So now that we know 80%, 88% went under contract the first weekend, how many were above list price? Drum roll, please. Hang on. All right. Seventy-two percent. Seventy-two percent were above list price. That's crazy. Eighteen percent were at list price. So that's ninety percent overall. Only ten percent went off or below list price. That again, that is just insane. It was up from sixty-eight percent. Uh, the previous time that I pulled this data. So it just says, so if you want to win a bid uh, the first weekend, you really have to uh, have your act together. You can't just casually go looking at houses. Uh, you have to have your pre-qual letter. You got to know what to expect and you have to be prepared. You have to have this knowledge. You have to be prepared to uh, bid uh, above list price if you want to have a high enough probability of winning the bid. Uh, so, you know, and there are risks. There's, if you're doing, putting a, in an offer the first weekend, there's risks because, you know, you're going to be, if you're paying a higher amount, you're going to be bumping up uh, against or beyond the appraisal value. Uh, you've got uh, maybe possibly higher due diligence fees, so you've got more to lose. So, um, there's, you know, it's a whole nother video as to how you approach this. And I could definitely help with that. Uh, this information, the whole reason I, this is part of how I help you because it's one thing for me to say, oh, the market's real hot. But it's another thing for you to actually look at the data and see. I think it just hits home when you look at those numbers. And so let's, before we go, let's look briefly Overall, 55% uh, rate overall, um, 15 at list price. So that's 70% overall. Uh, let's let's do this. Hang on, let me do this fast enough. Let's just take this. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, we're gonna copy. Okay, copy. I hope this works. All right, now we're just going to do that. Insert. Hey, it worked. 
Uh, okay, so now, see this is why well, it's useful to have a realtor who has done either the financial statements and or financial planning models for corporations with hundreds of millions in revenues because I can do this stuff for you. Okay, so we just change it to no. That means uh, basically after six days or afterwards. So if you get an offer in basically just, you know, if it lasts the first weekend, then your odds uh, of being able to make a lower offer below the asking price, you get 54% went below the, uh, the asking price and 34% were above, so that is 46%. So long, longer the timeline goes out, the better your chances. I mean, it, again, it could mean there's something wrong with the house, but you know, not necessarily. So you just, you have to be having awareness, but uh, you know, if, if you have money to burn and you could put a lot down, but if you are, have like just enough for your down payment and your closing costs, then uh, you're really better off waiting uh, to find something that is cleared the first weekend because it's it's less uh, risk of you losing your you know due diligence fee because it doesn't appraise or something like that. So let me get back. All right, very good. So I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, there's obviously a lot, lot to discuss. Um, if I could clarify any of the numbers that we we showed here, or you know, again, if you want to devise a strategy, uh, just uh, give me a call. Uh, call me, text me, email, message. You know, signal flags, whatever. So. Have a great day. Thanks.